Good morning, champions. I miss you guys all so much. Before we read our story today, let's take a couple deep breaths to quiet our mind, calm our bodies, um, and to get ready to focus. So I want everyone to take your finger and touch your snout. We're going to take a deep breath in through our nose. Touch your chin, let it out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Last one, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Awesome job. Okay, so the title of our book today is Felix Stands Tall. And our author is Rosemary Wells. She's the same author that wrote all the Max and Ruby books. And I think we've read one or two Max and, Max and Ruby books in class. Um, so you'll see that her characters kind of look similar. They look a little bit similar. Felix Stands Tall is a really important book about standing up for ourselves. And we kind of talked about that a little bit in class a few weeks ago when we did our big advocacy project. When we were having a, a hard time playing appropriate games and maybe a little bit of bullying um, on the playground and in class. We're gonna talk today about ways that we can stand up for ourselves. Um, and at the, at the end, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna tell me how can you stand tall um, to a bully. So the title is Felix Stands Tall. What do you think it means to stand tall? Have you heard that before? If you're standing tall, do you look like this? Do you look like this? I don't know. I guess we'll probably we'll. I'm sure we'll find out in their story what it means to stand tall. Um, there's one vocabulary word that I really need you guys to listen for, um, and I'm going to talk to you guys about it beforehand. The vocabulary word is protection, and we briefly talked about protection when we were um, when the firefighters came to visit our classroom. But I'm just going to remind you guys about it one more time. So protection is something that um, that keeps you safe. A lot of times it's something that you can wear to stay safe. So when the policeman came, he taught us about a helmet, wearing a helmet on our heads as a form of protection in case we fall off our bike. So it protects us. If we fall off our bike, it's going to hold our brain. It's going to protect our brain so that our brain doesn't get hurt if it hits, if it hits the ground or the grass or whatever it is, right? It protects us. It keeps us safe. When the firefighters came, they talked about all their coats and gears and masks. It's all protection. It keeps them safe. So protection is something that usually you wear. Protection is something that keeps you safe. And in our, in our story, we're going to see um, Felix has a special protection. Um, and our good reader skill for this story is we're going to think about what has happened so far in our story? What has happened so far? So we'll be pausing briefly um, to talk about what happened. Just like on the carpet, um, I'm gonna have you, you can either talk to me on the screen or you can talk to your parents in the room or your siblings if they're watching with you. If you wanna pause my video so you have time to talk, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, okay, so Felix stands tall. Felix, said Fiona, do you have a best friend? No, said Felix, I don't have a best friend. Can I be your best friend? asked Fiona. I would love that, said Felix. That's settled then, said Fiona. Now we'll be in the big talent show. We will, asked Felix. It's easy, said Fiona. We're going to win first prize. We are, said Felix. Fiona said, we'll sing There's a Pixie in My Garden. Do we have to? Asked Felix. Best friends do everything together, 
said Fiona. Felix did not want to lose his best friend, so he told his mama he wanted to be a pixie for the talent show at the guinea pig jubilee. Felix's mama got out her sewing box. Okay, so champions. Does Felix really want to be a pixie? He seems like he doesn't really want to. He seems like he's only doing it to make Fiona happy, right? Because she said, if you want to be my best, she was kind of saying, best friends do everything together. So if you want to be my best friend, you have to do this with me. Okay, so he agrees to it because Fiona's his best friend and she says best friends do everything together. She doesn't really want to do it, but he says, okay. Mom, I want to be a pixie. Okay. Snip, snip went her scissors. Zzz went her sewing machine. Pretty soon, Felix had a pixie hat, green shorts, and turned up toe shoes. Fiona was all ready for Felix. Now we have to practice, she said. Fiona taught Felix to sing, There's a Pixie in My Garden. Then she taught him the Texas slide step and how to line dance in costume. Many amazing acts lit up the big show, but when it came time for the audience to vote, it was Pixies in the Garden all the way to first prize. Felix's heart swelled with pride. Okay, so boys and girls, let's take a second to think. What has happened so far in our story? You can pause me if you want to and talk to somebody with you, or you can just talk, talk to the screen. So boys and girls, Felix and Fiona became best friends. And then she wanted to do Pixies in the Garden for the talent show. And he thought, well, I don't really want to, but I guess if we're best friends, I'll do it. And so then they did it. And then they won the talent show. And it said Felix's heart swells with pride. He's so happy. He's so proud. That's what's happened so far. Okay. So Felix's heart swelled with pride. And that's when the trouble started. Minky, Bucky, and Dimples were waiting for Felix in the schoolyard. Here comes Twinkle Toes, they shouted. Bucky sang, there's a pixie in my soup. Dimples made fun of Felix's Texas slide step. And Minky put a slime creeper down Felix's shirt. <gasps> that is not kind. Felix ran home as fast as he could. Okay, so these people in his class were being bullies. They were not being kind. What does Felix do? He ran away. He didn't say anything. He didn't do anything. He just ran away. Okay. Oh, you see him crying right here. What happened to my angel boy? Felix is, asked Felix's mama. Felix told her about Minky, Bucky, Dimples, and the slime creeper. Felix, my angel, you're going to have to stand tall, said Felix's mama. What do you think she means when she tells Felix he's going to have to stand tall? What does that mean? What do you think he's going to have to do? But Felix didn't know how to stand tall. Mickey tied Felix's gym shoes together. Shall we dance? sang Dimples. Bucky put a chirping plastic cricket in Felix's egg salad sandwich. Okay, so the bullies are back at it. They are not being kind. Felix you are a hot mess, said Fiona at lunchtime. Felix didn't want to be a hot mess. Watch me, said Fiona. Fiona started, stared down Dimples, Bucky, and Minky until they slinked away. 
Okay, so what does she do? Does she yell at him? She push him, kick him, punch him? She didn't even say anything. I'm going to read that one more time. Fiona stared down Dimples, Bucky, and Minky until they slinked away. So look at her. She's staring them down. I could never do that, said Felix. I'm wearing a magic protection suit, said Fiona. I don't see anything, said Felix. It's invisible, said Fiona. I have an extra. Okay, so there's that word protection. She says she has a magic protection suit. So she says she has something on that's keeping her safe. It's invisible. That means we can't see it. But she says she's wearing protection. So she's wearing something that's keeping her safe. She says she has an extra too. At Fiona's house, Fiona gave Felix her extra magic protection suit. Go ahead, put it on, she said. The armor was as light as a feather, but strong. You look so brave, Felix, said Fiona. I do, said Felix. And suddenly, Felix felt brave. So boys and girls, let's take a second here and let's think. What has happened so far in our story? The bullies kept being mean to him and he ran away and mama said, you gotta stand tall. But he didn't know how to stand tall and the bullies came back. And Fiona showed him how to stand tall, huh? She stood there and she stared at them and, they, and they, she said that they walked away. And now Fiona has given, um, Felix, her extra magic protection suit to keep him safe. And now he's feeling braver. On the way to school the next day, Felix stood tall. <gasps> Check it out. On the way to school the next day, Felix stood tall and proud in his magic protection suit. <laughs> the morning sunlight faded the silvery steel to near invisible. It didn't matter one bit. Here comes Mr. Pixie Pants, giggled Dimples. Take that back, said Felix. <gasps> Before he ran away, this time he's not running anywhere. He says, take that back. Felix glared at Minky, Bucky, and Dimples through his invisible uh, visor. Clang went his invisible lance in the footpath. Whap went his invisible gauntlets. The troublemakers melted away like snow. Felix couldn't wait to tell Fiona. So what does he do this time? What does he do this time with his bullies? Does it work? But before he could say a word, Fiona said, Oh, Felix, what about wearing twin cupcake costumes? for the Halloween parade. Felix knew he had to stand tall again. How about being fire-breathing dragons, said Felix. And then down here we see them as fire-breathing dragons. So Felix showed us that it's important to stand tall to people who are being mean to you, right? To bullies, it's important to stand up for yourself, right? And say, take it back, that wasn't nice. It's also important to stand up for yourself to your best friends because maybe some of their games don't always sound like so much fun to you. And that's kind of how it is on the playground with us too, right? Our friends want to play fight. It's not always easy to say, no, I don't think that's a good idea to our friends. But it's still really important, huh? It's important to say, what, what is, uh, what's a fun game for you and what's not a fun game for you? Or maybe you know that Miss Felici would say, absolutely not. So you say, hey guys, you're my friends, but Miss Felici's not going to like this. We're going to be in trouble. So maybe we should play something else. So boys and girls, your writing prompt today is, how can you stand tall to a bully? 
Felix learned how to stand tall, right? He put on his magic protection and he stood up for himself and he said, you take that back. And he didn't, he didn't use his hands. He didn't use his feet, right? He just, he used his, he used his, um, he used his words and he said, you take that back. And he stared them down until he, they walked away. How can you stand tall to a bully or to somebody who's not playing right? It might be your friends and it might not be your friends. But how can you stand tall? I miss you guys and I love you so much. I can't wait to see your sentences.